Today I'm going to do a quick review of two cabooses that were just released in August of 2023 from Walther's Mainline. These are international cabooses. Two different road names here, Gulf Mobile on Ohio and Illinois Central Gulf. So I'm going to go ahead and do one unboxing here. I'll just, this is the first one I grabbed, the Illinois Central Gulf. Um, if you watch my channel quite a bit, you know that about a year ago, Tangent released, released some high-end Illinois Central cabooses that were complete with lighting effects, um, high levels of details. The Walther's main line is going to be more of your economy version rail car. It's going to be priced to where you can get a fairly highly detailed caboose for a reasonable affordable price. So just depending upon where you're at, I picked these up mostly because it's not overly um, common to be able to get anything Gulf Mobile in Ohio, let alone cabooses. I think I've been doing doing this pretty serious for about 10 years now, and this is the first time that there's been a new release of what would be considered more of a diesel era caboose. So part of the reason why I picked these up. So sorry, I talked through the unpackaging. Pretty simple, just a plastic cradle with an outer plastic sleeve. You did notice um, some manufacturers wrap their model in like a, a plastic sheet. There was nothing like that in here. It was just set nicely in that cradle and it was easy to get out of the package. Just gonna do a quick detailed look here at the Illinois Central and I'll pull the Gulf Mobile in Ohio over here. Um, you know, again, this is a value line, so the details aren't as um, precise as what you would get on a, on a higher end um, scale model, but you still have the end ladders, the chimney, um, turn it around so you can see the end here. The details aren't, again, they're not quite as precise. Uh, you know, scale wise, the ladders are pretty thick, but you know, again, they're pretty durable. If you get on some of the, the higher end, they're more scaled size. And with that, they're just smaller and they just don't have a lot of uh, durability to them. They they're, can be pretty fragile. Um, but you know, all in all, the, the paint itself is pretty remarkable. I think they did a great job with the Illinois Central Orange. Uh, just get another look here. One thing I do know, and I'll zoom in here in just a second, they do have the holes pre-drilled or, or at least pre-molded if you wanted to add additional handrails and things. And I do know that Walther's makes a caboose detail kit, so you can go out and purchase that and you can add some additional grab irons to, to these particular cabooses. Here's just a little bit closer look at it. So this is considered to be a wide vision caboose, but the, the cupola is still flush with the side. Some of them do have the extended cupola where it hangs over the side of the, the cabooses to give the conductor just a little bit more visibility uh, for, for the freight train. But, you know, again, uh, these would look great sitting in the yard you know, if you, need, if you have a scene to where you need some cabooses sitting in the yard or on a caboose track, uh, these will fit the belt pretty nicely. And again, here's the Gulf Mobile in Ohio. I was really excited about this when I saw these were coming out. Again, the, the model itself is identical to the Illinois Central Gulf in terms of the details. Um, there's no road name specific details or features that you would find on one versus the other. So this is the exact same model, just a little bit different paint. You can see that they painted the handrails and the ladders yellow just for a little bit more of a safety, safety aspect for the conductors and can just take a look at the other end here and this one I'll flip it over here and zoom in there's some detail underneath but again not to the level of what you would come to find on a more higher end there are some of the brake hoses and, and cylinders and things but 
you know, like I said, paint scheme wise, this looks great. I can pick up the, uh, you know, the, the accessory kit to add some more grab irons and things to these particular cabooses. Here's just a little bit closer view of the trucks. So I haven't had these on my layout yet to see how they run and operate. Weight wise, they have a, a, a good amount of weight to them. I unfortunately don't know exactly where my scale is to be able to weigh these to see if they meet NMRA standards as far as weight goes. Uh, but but they do have, they, they feel pretty heavy. I'm gonna say that they've gotta be really close to being um, pretty close to uh, the manufacturers or the um, National Model Railroad Association's weight minimum for, for a caboose or a rail car. So these look good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get them up on the layout and see how they run.